guys what's going on welcome back to the channel I appreciate you stopping in and seeing what I got going on today I guess I'm a little bit different for you um, no golf today no course vlog no rain session just because the weather is awful today I got a little three-day stretch this week of just cold blistery half snow sleet rain whatever God feels like throwing down on us this week. But luckily, at the end of the week and the weekend is looking perfect, so we'll be getting out and playing. Um, we're just going to go right into it today. What I'm coming to you guys with today is a nice little what's in the bag. And what's cool about this is my bag has practically completely changed last year to this year, except for one singular club. And I'll tell you guys about that when I get to it. So long story short is I'll keep it simple in terms of going over why I made such a big change. I started going to my coach Dave at the golf garage here in Harrisburg. And pretty much everything from my wedges to my irons up to my driver was pretty much just not set for where I'm at in terms of my skill and my swing speed. The irons that I had, the shafts in them were too light too flimsy needed something a little bit stiffer so ended up going from uh, older wedges uh, to getting brand new ones uh, fresh grooves they haven't even seen the grass yet uh, new set of irons new driver and a new hybrid uh, and I'm gonna go into the specs of all these so we're gonna start off with the putter I know that I made a whole separate video on this guy but this is of a cherry putter. It is an arm lock style. Um, so pretty long, I think right around 43 inches if I'm correct. Uh, the guy from Bacheri actually called me and made sure that these specs were right. So shout out to him for taking the extra couple minutes and calling me and making sure this works for me. Nice little milled face right there if you can see that. Hopefully it focuses. Um, but overall, I love this thing. I'm rolling my putts and Everything on the greens pretty much better than I have in the past, so I'm putting a lot to the stability that an arm lock gives you. It simplifies putting. I would suggest it to anybody if they're struggling with their putter just to give an arm lock putter a try. Okay, so we are going to move on to the wedges. Uh, so I ended up going with a set of the Cleveland Zipcore wedges. I have a 60 a 56 and a 52 uh, the 52 got bent down to a 50 and the 56 is going to get bent down to a 55 and I'm going to get the grip changed out for my favorite which is the golf pride tour wraps but overall needed new wedges uh, the grooves in my old ones were pretty much shot uh, probably should have got them replaced two seasons ago but just kind of stuck with them because I like them but I figured if I'm getting everything else new, why not get new wedges? So, like I said, 60, a 56, which is going to bent is is bent down to a 55, and a 52, which is getting bent down to a 50. Me being a lefty and buying a little bit older wedges, we'll call these. I mean, they're not even a season in terms of when they were released. Um, getting certain wedge lofts is kind of difficult, so I ended up just getting a 52 at a mid bounce, and I'm just going to bring it down to a. 50 flat well it'll change the bounce a little bit but I went with a mid over a low bounce just because it's going to go from a mid to a low which I'm perfectly fine with so that is what we're going with that is the wedges so all three of these guys and then we are going to move right on to the pitching wedge through the seven iron and with that, I went with the Shrixon ZX7s in a KBS Money Taper 130X Flex with the Golf Pride Tour Wraps here. This is my favorite grip of all time. I will get this put on every club that I get. So wanted to go with this grip, love it. The shafts and the head actually all came from Dave he fitted me for these. I set up a fitting with him, and he's like, you know what, dude? I think you need something a little bit smaller profile, uh, something that is more suited to where you're at skill level. 
I went through a couple of the different Strixon clubs. He, he fits only Strixons. So if you're looking for something else, maybe Dave isn't your guy. But overall, one of the best fitters in the area. Uh, so I actually wanted a set of Strixons. That was the goal for me to get a set of those. So went to him, no, brain, no brainer, had a couple lessons with him. So he actually fit me within like 15 to 20 minutes. It was pretty simple. So went with the little bit lower profile ZX7s for the uh, pitching wedge to the seven iron. And then after that, I went with something a little bit more bulky in terms of the head shape with the uh, six, five, and four iron. I went with the Strixon ZX5s. Not much of a difference in terms of weight. The lofts are a little bit different than the ZX7 5 iron and 6 iron and 4 iron. So I got those bent to the true irons to match the ZX7s. But overall, shafts are the same. The KBS money tapers and the grips are the same. So the uh, reason I went with this is a little more forgiveness on a 4, 5, and 6 iron. I'm not going to be mad at. So I felt that I needed something like that for my game. If that ends up changing, shouldn't be too hard to find the ZX7, 4, 5, and 6 iron. I just wanted a little bit extra help with these longer irons, okay? So now we're going to move on to my hybrid. This is one of my two hybrids that I have. Nice little Stormtrooper head cover. Love this guy. Uh, this is one of my two hybrids, like I said. This is one of the two... Uh, this is actually the only club that I kept from last year. This is a Wilson Staff FG Tour uh, 19 degree hybrid. I can adjust the lofts and such on the sleeve. I think this can go a, a degree and a half either direction. Uh, regular old Phantom stock shaft here and the generic black grip, which is going to be getting changed out this evening. But overall, love this. Love the head shape of it. I'm more, when it comes to my hybrid, I like a real small head. Don't know why. Um, but overall, love this. Feels great. I hit it well. And I just couldn't see myself changing this out. So kept this guy uh, for another season to come right after my four iron. So now we're going to move on to my new hybrid. I just probably got this in the mail. I'd say like two months ago. Didn't buy it brand new. Bought it used. Uh, got my Chewy head cover here. So I went with a Callaway XR Pro 16 degree hybrid. Uh, and the whole main purpose of this club is to have something off the tee. My driver, if I hit it well, it's like 280, 285 carry. And then I will come the whole way down to like 205 or 210, maybe 220 if I hit it well with my other hybrid. So I wanted something that I could fill that gap, something that was 230 to 240 and could just put me out on the fairway, keep put me in a safe spot, more of my fairway finder club. So that's why I went with this guy here. Just has a traditional Project X stiff flex shaft. Not sure if I'm going to have to change that out yet, but overall, it feels pretty good so far. And then, as expected, the Golf Pride white tour wraps. Um, overall, loving this club. A little bit hard to hit just because the head is so small. Like I said, I like a smaller head when it comes to a hybrid. But overall, not too, not too bad. I'm loving it so far. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm enjoying this thing so far. Hopefully this can get me some more fairways this year. So we'll just put that guy to side. So we're on to the big daddy here. We're on to what everybody's probably looking forward to. And I enjoy and I probably like the most out of all of my clubs so far, uh, which is my driver. So got the Darth Vader here. Pretty sweet head cover. Shout out to my mom for snagging it for me for Christmas. Didn't even tell her that I wanted it. She just grabbed it for me because she's a G. So we are swinging the TaylorMade Sim 2 uh, right there uh, with a Kuro Cage. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, X-Flex 60 gram. This is stock right off the shelf. 
I actually walked into Dick's one day to get some golf balls and ended up walking out with a new driver. This is technically a demo version. Um, lefties, it's kind of hard to find clubs off the shelf. It's just like a thing against us that no retailer really carries it, which I get it. But came in one day and they had this, uh, all of the demos from the year before, they had them all for sale. Ended up getting a pretty good deal for it, given it was Dick's. But overall, it is a nine degree standard. I think I have it seated at that loft. Uh, but overall, man, I am, I'm really liking this driver so far. It was, I figured it would be maybe a hard transition from a standard flex to an X flex when it came to a driver. But overall, I'm transitioning pretty easily. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to lie. This is probably the most beautiful bag that I've ever had in my whole golfing career. My whole golfing career. Uh, I haven't even, honestly, I just got the, the ZX-5s and the ZX-7s probably like two days ago. Haven't even gotten to hit them yet besides when I was fitted. So the next time I play, I'm going to be able to use them. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm really not gonna go through my bag just because it's just like any other dude's golf bag. I got some gloves in there, got some balls, got some tees, got some stuff. I got a speaker in there for when you know, you're know you with your boys and you wanna play some music. Uh, the coolest part about my golf bag, and I think it's pretty common with mo most bags, this little pocket right here, it's insulated, so you put your brews in there. So that is probably the coolest thing about my bag besides that it works really well with my Star Wars theme that I got going on here. But honestly, besides that, that's that's it in a nutshell. I'm not gonna go into super, super specific uh, specs here because we'll be here forever. But overall, I mean, I am really looking forward to this season and what these clubs can do for me. Um, it's gonna be an adjustment with the wedges just because I've never had brand new wedges. I've never bought a set of brand new wedges ever. So I'm used to getting uh, a season, two season, three season old wedges. So having new ones, having a lot of spins is going to be a little different. Um, but uh, overall, um, this is it. This is what we got here. But I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it to the point. I'm not going to go on talking forever. But overall, guys, um, it's going to be a great season. We are middle of April. So that beautiful weather is right around the corner. Um, I'm going to be putting up some really good content coming up here soon. I have an outing I'm playing in two weeks. Might get some content from there. Uh, I have a friend, CJ. We are doing a nice little three weekend, kind of like lower, you know, uh, it's going to be two rounds each weekend. We're going to do, you know, who can, whoever can lower their handicap the fastest type battle. We're going to do... Um, we're playing for a trophy trophy each weekend, so that is going to be a blast. Might pull some content from there, but it's going to be a great summer. Plenty of golf, plenty of beers, and we're going to have a great time. But I appreciate you guys. I know you're probably sticking with me here, and I appreciate it. Um, but I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.